We are going to talk about the Maori culture. Stories and legends. According to the Maori culture, in the beginning of all times, millions, trillions of years ago, there was only darkness and darkness only. The sun, moon, sea, land, and the gods had not been created yet. Later, the sun, moon, and heavens were born from the darkness. Then two gods, Sky Father and Earth Mother, were born and embraced as they walked to Earth. As their embrace once again covered the sunlight, they had 70 male children who later, when they grew up, were tired of living in the darkness and broke their parents up. And so the parents are heartbroken. The sun shone. The parents were separated. One god was not happy to see his parents sad. So he created storms and revenge. Out of the past. In the New Zealand wars, the Maori fought the British. There was a great loss of life when the war ended. Social structures. If a village has a meeting, the meetings are held in the center of the village. The buildings that they have their meetings are called a ware. Now I'm going to tell you how they communicate with each other. Hongi is a traditional Maori greeting, which is similar to a handshake. Before 1800s, the Maori did not have a written language. So they carved signs and knots to communicate. Only 15 letters and combinations are used for Maori words. They are H, K, M, N, P, R, T, W, A, E, I, O, U, W, H, and N, D. The first Maori dictionary was written in 1844 by Bishop Henry W. Williams. Once the Maori learned to communicate, they thought these skills were quite valuable. Law and order. The Maori didn't really have any government. What they really followed was tapu, not a government. Tapu means the same thing as taboo. Celebrating culture. I am going to show you some pictures that I took. First, I will talk about celebrating culture. The Maori has a special dance which is called the haka. The haka is to show pride and joy and happiness. Arts and culture. The Maori decorate almost everything they own. Clothes, house, pillars, walls, everything. Next, I will talk about how they dress and their traditional dresses. This is a picture of a traditional Maori dress. They are worn for ceremonies and cultural performances. It feels very uncomfortable. They use flax as a most common material to make small things. Using this kind of tiny chisels, the Maori carve their skin and add dye into the cut to make unique designs on their body. It is very painful. They make designs on their faces, thighs, buttocks, and their head. The head is the most important part, so it is very complicated and detailed. This is another picture of a man with tattoo on his face. As you can see, they are very well detailed. Food and fun. The Maori diet consists of crayfish, eels, crabs, seals, shellfish, and salmon, which are seafood. The vegetables they eat are watercress and kumara. They also eat two ki kinds of birds, which are kuru and tui. Sometimes, for fun, the boys would throw soft spears at each other to practice their battle skills. Also, sometimes they would jump from a rope into the water. The young boys also like to walk on stilts. I will tell you about the Maori great ideas. 
Warfare is a part of Maori culture. The Maori fought in wars with the British. All of the villages are fortified. At issue. The Maori's biggest problem is survival. It's actually not about the resources, but about the argument between the British settlers and the Maori. These arguments often resulted in wars. Last, let's see how the Maori's culture will look in the future. At first, the Maori did not realize how important political power is. But by 1900s, some Maori groups understood the need to have political representation. So they began forming their own political parties. 95 years later, Queen Elizabeth II apologized to the Maori for how they were treated. The leaders of Maori decided to find ways to make Western money work within their traditional money. They learned how important education, proper systems for cleaning the water supply, and building a strong economy were. They also learned to maintain their traditional society. This culture continues today.